Okay, I wanted to export some surfaces uh, information from Rhino to make a topo surface in Revit. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and create a surface really quickly here. Okay, and then I'm just going to rebuild that surface. And it should work. Click OK. And then I'm going to turn the points on. And then let's just go ahead and sort of start to edit this guy. Maybe we make a sort of valley, you know. Maybe this goes down a little bit. There we go. In the center. And we've got, you know, a little bit of more mountainous stuff going on over there on the side. Like that. Okay, so that'll work. Let's go ahead and export this. So let me um, turn those points off, pick it, and Revit needs a DWG um, or a DGN or a DXF, so we're going to export as a DWG. So I'm going to go to Export Selected and pick DWG as a option. And then if I go to options, um, the default export scheme, if we look at it, takes the export surfaces and just puts the ISA curves in it. So they become sort of these empty curves and it doesn't really work for making topography. So what we need to do is we need to create a new export scheme that does it as meshes. And so the way that you do that is you just come over here and click new and you give it a name mesh option, right? Whoops, it's already in use. So we'll call it uh, Rhino Mesh. Click OK, right? And then you just export the surfaces as meshes, right? And just make sure you pick that and that's pretty much what you want to do. So I'm going to close that and We'll just leave it on Rhino Mesh, and then I'll click OK. I'll give this a name, Rhino Mesh, right? And I'll click Save. So click OK. It allows you to adjust the mesh. Uh, we'll leave it at the default so you can see what that looks like. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to bring some contour lines out so we can look and see what the contours look like. So I'm just going to contour this thing and All right and let's just zoom out here actually we could do it here and let's hide the hide the surface and I'll pick the contour lines and just export selected um, and we'll call this Rhino Lines save and you could use the default for this they're probably the same but go ahead and use I'm going to use the default click OK and so now I've got those two things exported and if I go into Revit I can go to insert and link CAD and I'll take the Rhino mesh in Click OK and you can see the mesh comes in and if I go to my massing and site tab you can go to topo surface and create from import instance select import instance pick the layer that the surface is on which is default and click OK and it goes in and contours that so if I go to my manage links and unload load that guy that's pretty much what you have right so it goes in and sort of contours that now you can adjust the contours but it's points right so if you go to edit surface you're just gonna have a bunch of points in here you know you can come in there and change the elevation of those points but it's you know pretty limited so go ahead and delete this guy or actually let's leave it and um, I'll view hide that for just a second and then I'll go to my insert and link CAD and I'll bring the 
lines in, right? So you'll get the sort of, these are just lines, so they're see-through, not like the mesh. And then I'm going to go to massing and sight. And actually, let's, um, let's move this over a little bit to here. And let's turn the topo surfaces back on, because I turned them off, which is not going to be very helpful when I make a topo surface. And let's go to shaded so you can see them. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and go to topo surface, create from import instance, select import instance. This guy, it's the default layer again. Click OK. And it's going to think a while. Right? And I'll hit check. We'll see what that looks like. Let me go to Manage Links and go to CAD Formats and let's get rid of the lines drawing. So there's what we got with this guy. So something happened at, you know, it redid the edges like for some reason. So that's a little strange the way that it didn't actually pick up those lines. So it just skipped over those based on the way the contours happen. So we probably missed the contour at the bottom. So let's take a look at those contour lines again. Well, they're down there, but it seems to be missing them, right? So right, it's not actually going down and picking those up, which is a little strange. So you can sort of work between these two to see which ones, you know, works better. In this case, it's the surface. Sometimes it, it might be the lines. Um, but that's it. Let's go to Manage Links and CAD Formats and let's unload that one, right, so you can see how, that, how those worked out. Okay, that's it.